Another measure of profitability is return on assets or ROI, which is simply calculated as net profit over average assets. So in this case, we've got a net profit of 15,400 and average total assets of 140,000 and that equals a percentage of 11%. So in terms of what are average assets, we usually take to get the number underneath. We take the balance of the assets at the start of the period and the balance of the assets at the end and just take the average of those two numbers. Now if that was 11%, what does that mean? That means that if you gave this business a dollar of assets in its balance sheet, it is going to produce a net profit of 11 cents. So that's how efficiently it's using its assets to generate net profit. There's a good ratio for comparing businesses of different sizes. So using this, we can compare a small business with only say $100,000 of assets to say Apple, which has $150 billion of assets because it's all going to be relative when we put in the net profit. What does it mean 11%? For every dollar of assets the firm has, the business earns a net profit of 11 cents. Interpreting the trend, so if it was 11%, we said for every dollar of assets, that's an 11 cent net profit. If that went down to 7%, that's a bad trend. It means for every dollar of assets we had this year, we actually only managed to use them to make a net profit of 7 cents. So we are less profitable. We've earned less net profit for each dollar of, say, of uh, assets. If the ROI went up to 21%, that's a good trend. For every dollar of assets we had this year, we've managed to earn a net profit of 21 cents. So we're more profitable and we're earning more net profit for every dollar of sales. Assets, sorry. Return on assets, how to improve it? Well, we can either use the same number of assets. So last year we had 100,000 to make a net profit of 20, which was an ROI of 20%. Well, we can use those assets better. We can use them to make a higher net profit, say $30,000. Maybe we can't buy any more assets, but what we've done by doing that is increase our efficiency and make it, uh, our net profit, or sorry, our return on assets uh, ratio go up to 30%. The other way we can improve our ROI, if it was 20% last year, what we can do is if we can't make a bigger profit, maybe we can do it with uh, uh, fewer assets. And the way to do that is to sell the ones that are unproductive, the ones we don't use anymore, the ones that are really inefficient. And that way we can get rid of those and get our average assets down to 80,000, but still only make a net profit of 20. We'll still end up with a better uh, return on assets ratio. So it'd be $20,000 in net profit divided by $80,000 of assets, which is 25%.